I just returned home from our morning worship service. Uh, for almost 57 years, I've been going to church uh, each Sunday. Of course, the last uh, 30 years, um, I guess now more like 35 years now, I've gone because um, uh, I'm the pastor of the church. But <clears throat> I saw this morning um, one of the reasons that uh, we need the church. And um, while there are programs on television and even in my messages you can read online, and this one you're watching online right now, uh, there is something about the personal contact with other Christians that is so vitally important. Uh, I watched today as people share their concerns. We prayed for people that uh, were not able to be there because of illness. And I watched as people um, helped one another. And uh, even today, in the few uh, minutes afterwards, during the fellowship time, people being concerned about one another, bearing one another's burdens. And um, in that way, we're told we fulfill the law of Christ. We need the body of Christ. We need each other. And uh, there's something that uh, watching something on television or listening to it on on a podcast or uh, even like this, watching it online, doesn't quite cut the uh, mustard, so to speak, in what the fellowship of the body believers does. I'm thankful for the church. With all of its faults, as E. Stanley Jones says, it's still the best serving organization in the world. So get into it and serve. May God bless you this, this Lord's Day, and uh, may... Uh, you follow the words of, uh, of Hebrew, the book of Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, where we're exhorted, let us not give up meeting together, but let us encourage each other and all the more as we see the day approaching. God bless you.